Hello everyone and welcome back. We are live once again at Hobbycraft HQ. Um, it is the 12 makes of Christmas. We are well underway and this week um, we are talking all things wreath making. So um, we've been sharing lots of wreath inspiration with you already this week um, and continuing in to next week as well, um, sharing sort of everything from traditional wreaths to more modern options. Um, you can find a huge range at Hobbycraft, but we're here to kind of um, excite and inspire you this Christmas. So um, we're joined by Jessica Hillier. Um, thanks for being here. That's all right, my pleasure. Um, so Jessica is gonna be um, talking us through a couple of different ways to decorate your own wreaths um, this Christmas, um, going through step-by-steps um, in demonstrations. Yep. Um, so yeah, Jessica, let everyone know um, your kind of background with like floral design. Uh, I've been a florist for 13 years and I just do wedding uh, floral designs and uh, work in the crisis area, but also love doing Christmas stuff. So. Amazing, yes. So we have lots of um, Jessica's designs over on the Hobbycraft blog and the new ideas hub. So um, everything you hit, see here today, um, you can see step by step also there. Don't forget we're live. So we have the expert right here. So if you have any questions, <laughs> um, away. <laughs> yes, definitely. We'd love to answer them for you. And we'd also love to hear where you're watching from, um, why you're excited about wreath making and also um, just in general, your Christmas crafts to share with us because we love hearing from you. So don't forget to comment because I'll be reading them out. Um, but in the meantime, shall we get straight into the first Let's project? do this. Great. So uh, just got our average artificial reef. Um, so when they first come, they're going to be quite yep. sort of flat. So what I tend to do is just fluff them out as much as you can, okay. uh, just to separate it all. <clears throat> so. And this is the um, large artificial wreath, the 45 centimetre one, um, available at Hobbycraft in store and online. And it's just five pounds, so it's a really good bargain for you. Um, and I'm sure once you start with one of these, you can, you know, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? Oh yes, definitely. Um, so what I tend to do, so you can either keep them as they are, because yep. um, it's still got a lovely texture to it. But on this occasion, I'm gonna add uh, two different types just give a bit more of a natural feel okay more textural so these how they will come so what I tend to do is as there's so many stems you can literally just pull them apart okay. like so and then you're gonna get quite a few different stems so like that and then this one I will then cut so you got the three so how I tend to start, you're gonna have your front and then you're gonna have your back and this is where you're gonna weave everything into. Okay. So if I start <clears throat> past it, you're literally just gonna feed through as much as you can, flip it over and where you're gonna have this, I will tend to then get your wires and I'm just gonna cut and I'm just gonna feed it through just so you can see it and then just tie it around. Perfect. And twist it. And then just cut off the excess, or either way, you can cut it off or you can pass it back through two different ways, completely up to you. Mm. Um, so then you just turn it back over and then just sort of feed it in, mix it in, and then carry on. So I'll keep doing that. And you can either option do like that and just keep going round. Then you can flip over and then oh, you can I see. see the two yeah. options completely up to you. So let's do that. And the wire that um, Jessica is using is also available from Hobbycraft. So um, it's the floral wire um, and it's just 70p for a pack. So um, definitely head into your local store or indeed shop online at hobbycraft.co.uk to find um, everything we're using here actually um, to get started on your own. quite nice and flexible isn't it it's so flexible you can <coughs> do so much and it's just easy to mix it all in feed it, feed it through any excess stuff just pull it aside you can always glue gun it on later if you mm. wanted to if you see any bits that you go oh, I need a bit more so I've got a bit more of that you can see already how much that's changed it the already difference it? yeah the from difference being just standard or just add a little bit more. Yeah. First thing, it's lovely as it is because once you add the decoration, um, it sort of 
fills up anyway. So yeah. sometimes you don't need to do this, but if you want that extra full luxury mm. reef on your door, yeah. it's definitely a way to go. Absolutely. So we've had some comments already. So thank you um, for your comments and your hellos. So hello to Karen, Kim and Kate. Um, keep your questions coming in. Also stay with us because we have um, a giveaway as well. Um, so one of our lucky viewers is going to win a wreath bundle, <coughs> which we've put together um, so that you can literally get started on your wreath straight away. Um, <clears throat> so to enter the giveaway, basically all we want to know is when are you putting up your uh, festive wreath. So when's the best time for you um, to put your wreath up? Let us know in the comments, there's no right or wrong answer, just um, answer away in the comments and you could be in with a chance of winning a bundle worth up to £40. So um, definitely check that out. Can I enter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great little bundle, so why not? There we go, let's speed that. And then I'll go in with the other one. So sometimes with these, if, uh, for example, you split it and you've got a couple of the wires, mm. I just tend to cut off the smaller one. And with these, especially cutting um, more wire base, um, get secateurs or, yeah. you know, tin snippers if you've got them lying around the garage. Uh, and there again, just feed it through. And then flip it over. And then this one, I'm literally just gonna weave it back through and just cross it over because it's gonna be secure enough that it's not gonna go anywhere uh, like so. Just making sure there's no like sharp ends, I suppose. Yeah, so yeah. nothing's gonna dig out to you or when you go back in, yeah. you don't wanna catch yourself again. And there you go, just weave it back through. We're just gonna check your mic, Jess, because yes. I think it might be unplugged. Turn it up a bit, see if that's fixed it. Is that working yet? <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, we'll just try and speak up so okay. everyone can. That's all right. There again, if they're short, just use the wires again. Cut them off and just find it. Sometimes you've got to go back. Yeah, because you can quite easily get lost with where you were. They blend in so much. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've already had lots of entries to our competition. If you're just joining us now, um, we have a giveaway bundle, which is a wreath making bundle with um, lots of goodies from Hobbycraft, including a wreath base and all of the sort of embellishments um, that you can add to it. Um, the bundle is worth up to £40 and one of you is going to win it. So all we want to know is um, when are you putting up your festive wreath this year? So what date are you going to be putting yours up? Lots of 1st of December's here. So I'm saying 14th of December. Last weekend in November, I mean, it's all up for debate. <laughs> I, I'm really early. Are you? So my tree actually goes up on the uh, 25th of November. No way. <laughs> I love Christmas too much. So and do you have like a wreath on your door, I suppose? I do. Yeah. I'm quite picky. So um, yeah, I can never <laughs> really decide what to go for. Yeah. There we go. So for that, I'll probably leave it as it is, nice and full. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will probably go in with some other decorations that we've got here. So we've got these options. Um, and there again, different way of doing these. You can either keep them as they are, mm -hmm. or you can pull them apart depending how you want to. Uh, they come a little bit longer, so there again, I've just cut them off. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you can either feed it through, keep it whole, flip it round, and then I'm just gonna then wire. So I'll show you both options, see what we can do. even just like a small little snip of that wire is enough to secure it quite well yeah that's great no it really does because where it's artificial and they all bound together and then when you feed it through to the other bit of foliage mm. if you feel like it might come apart then all i suggest is that you get one of the actual sprigs and just wrap it around just loop I it see. on and it'll be then like a hook yeah it secures it on and then if anything what i love about artificial is you can just bend it all in. Yeah, I love that. It's not that. real where you kind of like, oh, it's precious. It's yeah. kind of bruised, this is how it is. And then you can pull some up, so then it comes out of the wreath. Um, so yeah, got different options. Yeah, um, you can just do whatever you want, really. Yeah, and then these you can even pull apart like so. 
And actually, if you kind of go, oh, I don't, I love these, but I just want a load of these in a cluster, then you can add to the cluster mm. and do it like that. There again, flip it over. Okay, so lots of comments coming in. Um, we've had a question from Emma. Hi Emma, um, she asks, can I get all of these bits online with Hobbycraft? Yes, you can. So head over to um, hobbycraft.co.uk and head over to our Christmas section and we have a whole range on wreaths and garlands. So you can get all of the bases, but also all of the um, added bits and pieces. And we're gonna show you another version of this as well later on so you can see all the different possibilities. Um, online and we also have our ideas hub which is brand new and if you head over there from the main website or go to um, hobbycraft.co.uk forward slash ideas you can see lots of tutorials as well using um, the hobbycraft products so it's definitely worth checking out i'll probably just add one more in there great there we go and it's all blend together bend them, make them more flexible, put anything excess that's coming off. Mm. And if you worry and you go, oh, it's definitely not secure, then add more, you know, just add more wire um, in two places. If you think it's a real long step, you've got to cut it, then do actual more. So I'm going to cut this one shorter because it's a longer step. Yeah. And then just tuck that in again. And then I'll go back in with another wire and then that will go down the base. Remember to pull tight when you're actually going to tie it off, just so then it's really tight Yeah. It's the actual ring. And there again, Look it's at that. there. And then you just feed it in, bend it in, don't worry. If it snaps and just reattach, it doesn't matter. For me, a fuller wreath is a better wreath. Yeah. <laughs> So in terms of like your compositions that you create, do you have any like rules of thumb, like yeah, symmetry work, or anything? You work in odd, so you, I okay. work with three, your fives, um, but then you have your one bow. But if you feel like you want a cluster, then you mm. can add more to it. And if it adds up as an even, that's fine. But yeah, Brilliant. always work in odds. Do that. So that is then the design for all your artificial, like so. Looks great. So then I'll probably come in with some uh, decorative items. Yeah. Uh, so we can go in with some fur cake. Always a favourite. Yeah. And these are really straightforward as well. So if I move that mm -hmm. to the side. And then, so what you tend to do is get your wire and you're going on the lowest bit of the scales. So okay. just at the base and you're doing like a quarter to sort of three quarters and you want the longest bit as possible and then you're just going to twist so you can get these all ready beforehand okay do yeah it by time but that is literally what you're looking for is to have that perfect and I'll do another one there again so just make it as long as you can give it a twist if you know you've got too much, then cut the excess. Or yeah. if you feel like it's not long enough, like it's a really big fur cone, then I would always say go through this bit. Oh, running away wire. You can always go through that bit again. Yeah. And then you can twist on to the second bit. And then you've got the longer part. And then you can cut the excess off. Perfect. It's a really good tip, actually, just to make sure it's all secure. Yep. And there you go. So then, like so, bring back your wreath, have a look at the design, and then I always sort of say when you're looking mm. and you're starting, see an area that you kind of go, oh, I want that to be the hanging part, so then you know, because if you cover it all and you go at the end, oh, I've got a bow, yeah. where do I now put it? At least mm. then, this stage, you can see. See, there again, you're just going to feed everything through, flip it back over, find the main ring, and then you're just going to tie it in. always give it a twist if you want to face it the other way they all turn nicely uh, you could do clusters 
keep them together, small and large. So then this is when the rule of thumb goes out the window. Yeah. You might want to cluster, like, oh, you know, big and small. I guess it's just about experimenting, isn't it? It is. You know, you're making your own reef at the end of the day, so you can have it as personalised as you like. There you go. And I'll probably cut the excess because I've gone round twice. So Love there you that. Go. It's really coming together. Yep, and we've seen lots of our customers uh, making their own wreaths, not only for um, Christmas, but just autumn wreaths as well, oh, and all year yeah. round. So um, keep sharing your makes with us, especially um, if you are making a Christmas wreath, enter our Christmas craft competition, which is open until the 20th of December. So um, the details for the Christmas craft competition are pinned to the top of our Facebook page. So after we're done here, head on over, click the link, and be sure to enter via the link rather than through the comments, because those comments aren't counted. Um, so click the link and upload your image for a chance to win um, Hobbycraft gift cards throughout Nove November and December because it's a really good opportunity, especially if you're already making something. Um, go ahead and enter, you never know, you could win. Um, so there's lots there for you. Right, let's go back in. finding gaps that you think need a bit more yeah. to it. So we've had a comment from Jane. Hello, Jane. Um, she says, I've used red berries on two of the wreaths I've made so far for friends this year. That's fantastic. Um, I'm really liking the white ones. So these ones that we're using here. Um, yeah, it's, it's all about experimenting and trying new things. It is. This is going to be a bit more of a sort of winter frost look. Yeah. Uh, so your traditional reds and the holly. This one's going to be a bit more a winter wonderland. Mm. And also I sort of like to say is even though it's going off the door, you're gonna look at it, think about the side swell because you mm. know it can come from the side, so you just want to add where you can. Yeah, I suppose it's from all angles, isn't it? It is. So let's just add do one down here. Okay, so hello to Lynn from Belfast, hello to Courtney, Nicola. Um, Diane, Kathy, keep your comments coming in and of course your questions as well. Um, if you are looking to get started in making your first wreath perhaps, we've got um, lots of help and guidance from Jessica herself um, through our Get Started in Floristry um, page which you can find um, at the Get Started in Hub which is accessed from hobbycraft.co.uk and we've got real step-by-step -step guides haven't we to yes, creating we wreaths and all the essentials that you need. Um, so the help is there if you would like it. This looks brilliant. And you're just plugging in the glue gun now, yep, aren't you? Yeah, so I've got the glue gun just gonna be ready for the next step, but first I'm just gonna untwine these. Okay. So then this is the fiddly part. You know, you can, there's no real right way of doing these. I've just tried over the years. So yep. I usually get a cluster, say about five. Okay. And then I'm just going to bring them up and just give it a twist so they are together. And then I'm just going to get a wire and I'm just going to feed it through. And there again, it's just all twisting action. And then just go in again, feed it through. Flip back over. That's why I always say cut the excess off just because that tends to get in the way and then it doesn't go all the way through the way you like it to. Okay. And then you've got your berries mm. like so. And you can just spread them out if you wanted to. Do less, do more, so you can get a real big clump. Yeah. And a bit nice. of sparkle. It does. These are nice. I like them. Because you've got your other berries, but then these give it just another look. So then there again. Twist them around. So it's all about getting prepared with that wire first and then kind it of is. dotting it around however you like. Yeah, it's nice to just have everything prepped so then when you come to it, they're all ready. Yep. It's lovely. But 
But the, I even now I can prep, 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 and then I kind of go, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> I can't make more. Yeah, I guess it's quite addictive when you get started with wreath making because you just want to see what other possibilities there are. You don't want to okay. overload one wreath, so then you could probably start on another one and yes. then another one. <laughs> That's the thing. There we go. Do a few more. Okay, so we've had a question. Hello to Lucy, um, thank you for watching. So Lucy says she bought the white washed willow wreath from Hobbycraft to decorate. What would you suggest I use to fix all the foliage and decorations in place? Uh, I would then go in with the glue gun. Okay, um, perfect. So you can either get a uh, long, I call it thin wire, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's a long wire that you sort of wrap around. Um, I don't know what colors, I think you do the silver. I think so, Got yeah. Silver. So then I would then suggest having it so attaching it wiring it and then basically what you want to do is sort of overlay okay. so each time you bind you won't see your mechanics yeah so you just keep going around and then you put another one on if you did want to cover it uh but there again glue gun it's your it's your best friend <laughs> yeah absolutely there's so many different options with wreaths as well it's sometimes you can go for a bit more of a minimal look yes. leave some gaps and um, play around with that or sometimes you can go all out so yeah we have loads of different um, bits and pieces that we're sharing with you this week um, in terms of inspiration uh, we've got some really modern ones as well with like the copper wire wreath Lovely. bases yes. which are really on trend at the moment um, and then obviously the more traditional options that we're going to be showcasing here today. For those of you who are just joining us actually, um, we're giving away a wreath making bundle. So um, if you'd like to enter, just let us know in the comments when you're going to be putting your festive wreath and decorations up. Um, and you could be in with the chance of winning the wreath bundle worth um, up to £40. Put one more in. I'll probably be doing a bit more cluster for like the bow later on. Mm. So that'll be that. So let's pop them to the side. Hands are all lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it needs nail varnish. Right, so then we've got a wooden shape. We've got stars this time. Yeah. So I think you've got the reindeers as well. Got lots of different options. Um, and these can be used obviously for wreath making, but all around your house this Christmas as well. You can use them as like table settings. Um, there's so many possibilities. Uh, with them so they're definitely great to stock up on. So I'm going to position it so I know I want my bow at the top so then I can go in and shape it all in. Yeah. So just normal glue gun, you get gold, cold one as well. Yep. Let's get this just turned on. Trying to <laughs> a new one. Let's yep. have a look. Taking its time. Taking its time. Oh, it's doing alright, okay. so surely. So you don't need it a lot, but just make sure you've got enough so it will stick to then part of the foliage. Uh, be careful when you're pushing down. So I always suggest grab more of the base. Okay. Um, you don't want to go in underneath because then you will burn your fingers. So it's just about dotting it. And then leave it and let it set. Okay. Um, and then if you feel like it's not enough and you want to go in, then I would say come in from the side okay, and just put a little bit more on and you can see a little leaf and then you can push that on. Yep. At least you know it's got a fixing. So there we go. And afterwards you can take all all the excess off. All the stringy bits. Yeah. You <laughs> think you've got them on, there's some bits that you're like, oh, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so there again, stick them on. Down. And then you could do some pointing up, so you can do that little bit, and I can stick it on, say, this bit, and then you've got a bit of yeah. different. Okay. So the trick is to just kind of leave them there to set a little bit. Leave them to set. Because it's really tempting to just like... It's so tempting, I'm like, did I like it, did I not? Yeah. Is it stuck? And you pull it, you're like, oh, it was nearly there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let it set. Just, you've got to trust the system with the glue gun will work. <laughs> yep. Love a glue gun. Love a glue gun. And then bring some up, put them under, just 
just give it a bit of depth. Yeah, they don't have to always be like sitting no, at the top. Yeah, because yeah, you want it to feel like everything has a variation that you, when your eye goes to it, you kind of go, oh, I've got a bit more that you can go into. Yeah. So, you know, do feel like you can move foliage and dot them around. So I'll pop one little one there. But this is when you can get really carried away. <laughs> and you think, oh, was that enough? <laughs> Hello to Sadie who says, I'm hoping to make my own this year. So this is great info. Thank you. Good. Thank you for joining us. Um, glad we could help. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like a bit more of a special touch when you make your own, isn't it? It really is. Like it's, it's nice when florists do them and they're homemade, but to have your own personal touch, yeah. I think it's just lovely. Cause then when someone comes to the door, like, I love your wreath, like, well, <laughs> I've got yeah. this year. <laughs> yeah, you can brag about it. Yeah. Humble brag, love it more on just dot them around and Lucy has replied so Lucy was um, the lady who asked about how to attach everything to her willow yes. wreath so she says thank you I was going to use a glue gun but I'm definitely going to buy some florist wire as well yes great you can't have enough so whether it's glue gun or florist wire they always come in handy yeah so, so I think that's a nice Look at selection that. That's so fantastic. It just adds a bit of definition to it, and then yep. you can come around and then take these all off. Yep. Let's pop the glue gun down, and then we come in with the final decorative, and then that is now. So they come in a pack of two, yep. so you can either put two on, make an extra large bow, or you can just do one. It's completely up to you. So it's nice because these come on the clip, um, yeah. so you don't have to worry. So you can literally just pull a bit of foliage and clip it on. So you can do it just like that. Or if you feel like you didn't want a bow and you just wanted an overall look, mm. then you can go in and put more in and okay. dot them around. So the options are endless what you could do to your own wreath. So yeah. you don't feel like, well, everyone I've seen, you know, it's got one bow, yeah. I should follow the traditions. You could go, no, I could do one over here if I wanted to. It's your wreath. It's your wreath, you do what you like. Absolutely. So this one, I'll probably just do then a third. And this then it's all... Working in odd numbers, yes. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I'll probably come over here. Yeah, so it's not like really symmetrical. It's no, quite, it's, yeah. it's dotted. Absolutely. You know, one could be in, clustered. Yep. And then that there is your finished product. That is incredible. There you go. How fabulous. What a transformation. I know, from a bare <laughs> one now to a full one. I know. And then afterwards, if you're thinking, how can I uh, attach it? Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is flip it over. So you can either do ribbons, because yep. you've got a lot of lovely ribbons. So you can just tie it from the actual base. Or if you didn't want to see it and you just want to hang on the door, then uh, just get a wire and bring it up. And then there again, just twist it like so and then just pull it back around so then you've got the softer side Perfect. and then that is where you will hang. Great. And then that is then your finished touch. That is such a showstopper but I love the fact that it's kind of a limited colour palette so it it's, is. it's really quite specific but really like like you said a winter wonderland. It is a winter wonderland. Love that. There okay so there you have it. Um, we've had Nicola who said th uh, I think I'm gonna have a go at copying the design of this. <laughs> So there we've got some go. fans. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. Perfect. So we're gonna go into a second project now, aren't yes. we? So we'll let's, should we swap or? Let's okay, swap, yep. so let's do yep. yours there. Yep, perfect, there thank you. you. Uh, this one's this. already fluffed out ready. So this one, I'm not gonna add the extras. Mm. We're gonna go basic because what we've got is lovely berries, this is your traditional red yeah. that we can go for. And then we've got special picks that already have extra foliage. Okay. So this one, I don't think you'll need the extra. And there again, we're just going to weave through, bring it back through, attach it with wire, and it'll be the same. Perfect. Um, sometimes if you feel like it's too stiff, bend it beforehand, mm. and at least then you know you're going to go in and you'll find it the other end. So. So just showcasing really more possibilities um, and different styles that you can create to kind of match your festive decor or your um, sort of style and your taste. Um, we've had some comments around bad connections, so we're going to try and work on that for you. 
Um, stay with us. We hope that we'll be back. <laughs> um, but obviously, if you do have any questions or anything, we can come in at the end and um, comment and reply to your comments um, if there are anything that needs answering. Um, Jane says, loving the stars on this one. Ideal for pyrography tree decorations to coordinate as well. That's a good Love idea. It. I like that. Yeah. Yes. Match the two. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, got lots of comments coming in. So if you missed um, our giveaway uh, question, then all you need to answer is when are you putting up your festive wreath this year? What date? Um, and you could be in with a chance of winning a £40 um, wreath making bundle. So it has, um, it will have everything you need in it to create your own wreath this year, which is really, really handy. Nice. Um, so yeah, give it a go. There we go. This one I'm going to put four in because I think it's spaced out nicely. Because yeah. once you put the other berries, it's going to mix in, so you're not going to really know. Uh, let's find that one. There again, just wrapping it back round and just pushing it in, you can feel when it starts to connect. And then you've got like that, and you just sort of feed through the other stems. Yeah. So it then looks one. And there again, if you feel like it's not secure, then get uh, just one loose one and just hook it round so it's more of an anchor, like so. Perfect. So these, there again, I'm just gonna bend them in. They're all shaped and feed them through again. I think we've got lots of people loving this sort of red yeah, colourway. Yeah, more traditional. Yeah. That's it. You're going to love a winter or you're going to be yeah. more traditional. Um, none lots, of them are wrong. Yeah, lots of people saying absolutely stunning, beautiful, wow, I love it. So, yeah. Good. That's good to know. And this is this is it. We're showing two very different styles. Very different. But using the same base. Um, and the base, of course, is five pounds. So it's definitely worth giving it a go and making it your own. And then, of course, um, sharing with us because we love seeing what you make. Um, so definitely share your makes with us this Christmas. And um, what I love about is an artificial is it is forever. I know. You're not having to go, like, oh, it's over. I've got to put it in the bin. This one, pop it up in the loft. Yeah, bring, bring it out. Bring it down. Add a bit more each time. Take off. Um, so it is great that way. Mm -hmm. so that through. And there again, if you feel like it's come from an edge and you're like, oh, it's not going to be an anchor, then just get your wires back in and just feed it through. There again, this one I'm going to put two in just because it's a longer stem and tuck your excess back. So I'll do another one here. Don't feel as well if you feel like, oh, I've got so much foliage underneath. It doesn't matter because when you put a design on top, mm. um, you won't see that you've snagged quite a lot of foliage. Okay. And then there we go. Like so. And then what's great is you can just bend them in. Yeah, just manipulate them yeah. as you like. So they're all wired. And if you want a bit more wire, you can bring it in, sort of have it just, you could do anything. Mm, I know. Yeah. And if you would like to have a go at making your own wreath, um, this Saturday we have a wreath making workshop taking place um, in all hobby craft stores. So it's definitely worth checking out. You can book um, right now. So you can head over to our Christmas workshops page to find out all the details, um, ticket prices and everything like that, and see if there are any spaces left in your local store, because they are, filling up very, very quickly. This is always a really popular workshop yeah. for us. Um, it's a great afternoon, just kind of going in, making your wreath and coming out and taking it oh, away. It's a good laugh. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and meeting fellow crafters as well. It's a great opportunity this Christmas to kind of get creative. Um, so do check that out. It's on Saturday, the 16th of November. Um, so yeah, you can find details on either the Facebook events page um, or our website. And there we go, just feed them through. And the berries just fall them out. Yep. Oh, lose one. <laughs> so, there you go on that one. So I'll probably just put three in of those. Because what's nice about this one is we've got, got lots of goodies on this one. Yeah. So we've got the poinsettias, uh, large and small. We've got the other berries that we can add in. So I'll probably start with the berries. So with the kind of like smaller and larger embellishments, would you say 
is there a kind of an order that you would say starting off with the smaller and then going in with the it varies so with usually i'm going to say start with the larger yeah just because if you have got the smaller and you put a large on top then you've sort of lost it so it all depends. If you feel like you just want a cluster, yeah. then I would say start with the small because then you know that is exactly where you want them. Mm. Uh, but for this, let's do this way. So get your pack. What's nice is you get quite a few of these on. Yep. And then just pull them off. And then this is gonna be good because we're gonna use then the wires again. Okay. Or if you wanted to, this is when you can get the glue gun back in. Okay. So there's two options I'll show you. Um, so if you're not happy then with a the glue gun, you've got children around, you yeah. know, you're doing a family arts and craft, you're like, don't really want the glue gun, then you go in with the wire, keep it safer. Absolutely. So, I'm losing space. So where you have uh, the actual tie off anyway, if you can just feed it through, sometimes a little bit tricky, mm. uh, do that, and then you pop it through, and then attach it with the other one and just there again twist it and twist it with the other excess just so you know it's really secure okay and that's how it's on and then feed it through so this way you know it's sort of a safer option yeah same concept as before exactly the same it's all repetition so you do one you kind of get the gist of it then you can go back in and it's all the same again so once you cocker it the first time you're fine yeah <laughs> Same again, so we're just going to go through, sometimes fiddly, there we go, and twist again. It's all a lot of twisting. Yeah. <laughs> So hello to Lorraine who says um, it looks lovely and she loves them both. Hi to Michelle, Linda um, and Nicola once again. Lucianne, hello, um, wants to see close ups of the finished products. So stay with us Lucianne because um, we will do that after we're done with this one, yeah. we'll kind of zoom this top camera in so you, guys, so you guys can all see it in closer detail because trust me, it looks amazing from where <laughs> I'm standing. So this one, it, there again, you can go all out. You can add so much to it. You can do a really compact, you can do it all point set if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, or keep it simple. And also feel like if you did want that wreath and you wanted all the decorations at the bottom, but at the top, you can do absolutely anything. That's what I love with homemade wreaths. Yeah, I've seen a lot this year where it's like completely plain and then just the decorations in the bottom corner. It's really popular at the moment. Yeah. Um, so that's probably what I might do this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, have you started with yours this year or? I have started collecting. Yeah. Uh, I've started buying a tree decorations because nice. I can't help myself <laughs> as soon as they're popping out I'm like I need them but I'm going for more felt this year more Aye. traditional so cool. um I used to go really modern because that's the house I used to have but mm. now it's kind of more traditional home so I've got a lot of the felt velvets in this year nice. that's lovely um so yeah Sounds keeping great. it keeping it old school <laughs> <laughs> what decorations do you go for I'm more of like the modern you're definitely. the modern nice. modern minimal yeah. I always stick to like two or three colors um this is definitely like my, this is you <laughs> yeah, this is me all over um but yeah we want to know what you guys love so what kind of color scheme are you guys going for this season um what decorations are you buying we'd love to hear from you so um let us know yeah, are you more traditional or are you more yeah, modern? Yeah, we've definitely got a bit of a divide in the comment section, <laughs> that's for sure. Lots of people saying that they're loving this red berry wreath um, and others preferring the winter wonderland. So, got a bit of, of a debate yeah, on our hands. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's pop that in. Oh, look at that. It's really come together nicely. I'm going to use the last one, these back up, and then I can get on to the berries. And then we've got the smaller point setters, what a lovely. Okay, and don't forget to um, head over to the top of our Facebook page after we are off air because you can see details of our Christmas craft competition. We love to see your entries. Um, just as a note to some of you who are entering, um, there's a 48 hour moderation process. So bear with us. We have lots of entries that we need to kind of moderate and approve. Um, so don't fret if you don't see your um, entry in the gallery straight away. It can take up to 48 hours, um, but head over to the link 
click it and then upload your image through there for a chance to win um, lots of Hobbycraft gift cards throughout November and December. It's a really great opportunity um, to see everyone else's makes as well because our gallery is really filling up quickly and you can vote in there as well for your favourites. Um, so definitely check it out. Right, just give them a nice fluff out and then you can pinch yeah. them in. Um, what's nice about these, you can pinch them in. Oh, nice. So yeah. they really set nicely. Um, so then we can go on to the berries for these ones. And same as again, um, I will probably just wire them. So just yeah. find the loose one. Keep them all together if you wanted to, or if you wanted to dot them around, you can do. If you're going to dot them around, then I would suggest maybe cutting at the top and then glue gunning them on. Okay, yeah. And then leasing, you can get a real good position of them. So I'll do clusters of three, twist them anyway, and then you get your wire, and then just feed from the top, and then you can anchor it down, and then wrap. So then they're all together, like so. Perfect. And then just go back in. And there's never a wrong place to put them. Don't feel like, oh, mm. that didn't belong there. Just pull it back out and pop it back in again. Yeah, that's the great thing, I suppose, isn't it? You can just start, yeah. pick things out, start again, try, yeah. try something different. You could be there, you think, oh, I shouldn't be long today. I'll do <laughs> make a briefing, you're there, like, you know. <laughs> that's it. And then just crush it in and then move them around. And that's what I really love with these ones. And again, just give them a twist. Grab a wire. And then you come from the top, down, and then wrap it over. And then just get them all together and just pinch at the bottom and just keeping it long. Mm. Um, so let's find. So we've had a question from Samantha um, who wants to know more about garland making. So okay. in terms of garland making, is it a similar concept um, or is it quite different in the way that you embellish and decorate? Up to you. So you can either do uh, already made garlands that are the long and you can add to it. Yeah. Same again, same process. You're literally going to get them wire around. If you're making it from scratch, um, let me just pop that on the side so I just quickly show. Um, all you're going to do is when you get them, you're just going to get a long wire mm. and get your string wire and you're just going to tie on and then you're going to wrap and then you just keep adding. I see. So you just layer it up and use different textures because once you've got the stem, it will go on and you just keep binding um, and you go as long as you like and that's it. You're literally doing it like so and it gets longer and longer Absolutely. and that's how you do your garland. Perfect. So it's a lovely way. Well there you have it, um, Samantha, thanks for the question. Thank you. Um, and definitely if you are going to be attempting a garland, share with us, we'd love to see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, because then you kind of tie it in with the wreath as well, so whatever that's design it, you've, yes. you've so created you've for that. So if you've got an artificial then same again with all these, Yeah. Um, buy them in and then just add to it. Um, and then I always say, the more variation, the better. Yeah. Then it feels a bit more realistic. If you've got one type, then you feel like it yeah. is a bit more That's um, true. fake. But then this way, people then go, is that really? Yeah, like, yeah it is. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's why you ha like you kind of emphasise the movement in it and fluffing it out and stuff yes. to make it look more natural, isn't it? That's completely it. Um, and the, if anything, garland on the fireplace is mm. going to last a lot longer with the heat because yeah. everyone thinks, oh, I'd go real, and then next morning, like, oh, it really did yes. survive. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So just move it around. Constantly just keep moving it. Um, just get the feel. Again, so there again, I'll just use another cluster. Okay, so we've had some comments about um, what people are loving this Christmas and what kind of trends they're loving. So um, Deborah is sticking with the traditional red and gold. <laughs> um, same with Nicola. Yeah. Mary's doing a white and silver theme, which Ooh, sounds great. Yes. Um, and Jeanette is saying, my tree is white and the decorations are blue and silver with matching blue and white wrapped presents underneath. Oh, Love that it. That does sound really <laughs> neat. 
Oh, it just gets you really... I'm getting experience. really excited. Oh, no, I, don't I don't know why. Should I start when I get it? Yeah. <laughs> so then just bend everything around. Feel like anything's moved once you keep... Because every time you flip it over, yeah, everything does move. Of course. So if you kind of go, I really want that, just come back round and do that. So then we're going to come in with our smaller point stepers. And these are lovely. Mm, that's so cute. You can buy all of these embellishments um, in your local hobby craft store or online. Um, check them out because we've got so many different variations this year um, to suit all different types of um, tastes and themes. Um, so yeah, lots to choose from and definitely worth checking out. Um, hello to Nicola as well. He says, I like both wreaths, but I think I'll do modern this year. Oh, okay. like it. <laughs> so there again. These have got sticky dots on the back, but just for extra, extra yeah. security and you know they're going to stay put. Just move that in there. Oh, I do love these. Mm. There we go. Just move them in, stop them around. And remember to use, you can either go right on the ends. Yep. You know, you want to use it all. So make sure you get it on the sides. And then just keep spinning. So many brilliant comments. Um, so hello to Lucy. He says my decor is very rustic farmhouse. Oh, lots of white, green, and natural wood. So the winter yes. wonderland would look perfect. Yes. Um, and then we've got June. Hello to June. He says my tree is full of nutcrackers, old-fashioned ones. Like it. I like that one. Um, and then Margaret, who says my current wreath is blues and silver, but I'm thinking of changing it um, to similar to the Winter Wonderland one this year. So this one, I feel like it's, uh, <laughs> and we've like branded it up as well, like Winter <laughs> Wonderland. <laughs> but we know when we go story, everyone's sort of going to go for that one. Yeah. So then I'll put my last one on. So just have a look around. Um, and there again, if you feel like you haven't got enough space, again, just move everything out. Oh uh, yeah. Be Create enough. some space. Create some <laughs> space. You can always find space with yep. these. And then just take the excess off, um, feed it through, bend items, make it more wild if you wanted to. Yeah. Because willow there again never goes in a straight line. So just feed it all out. And there you go. Perfect. Look at it. More so traditional. Lovely. Yeah. Um, and just simple, but it's still got detail to it with the poinsettias. Yeah. So. Lots of layers, I like Lots it. Lots of layers. So I think we'll do a bit of a close up now. Yes. Um, if we can bring the camera in, um, you guys can see all the lovely little details on um, the kind of red berry one. And then we will swap it over for the winter wonderland, which has been a hit. So should we swap over now? Yep. There we go. I'll okay. That one. Over and under. And then looks like favourite is the winter wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, um, for, you, for those of you who are just tuning in, obviously we have just gone through these demos, um, but there is so much online, so much inspiration in our ideas hub where you can see step-by-step -step wreath tutorials. Um, also don't forget to enter our giveaway. Entries are open um, until midnight tomorrow. So even if you're watching at a later stage, you can still enter for your chance to win a wreath making bundle. Just let us know when you are putting up your festive wreath this year, what date. Um, and you can also find Jessica on um, her social channels, which we're going to leave on the screen now. So you've got a website. Yes. Um, and you're on Instagram and all that jazz. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. So yeah, it's all Jessica Hillier. Uh, good day for the website. Yep. And then Jessica Hillier, uh, Floral Design Facebook. And then Instagram is just JH Floral Design underscore. Nice. So do check out Jessica's work because it's fantastic. As you can see um, what, what she's created today. Um, so we want to say thank you for My joining pleasure. us. Thanks it's for having been fun. me. Thank you. Um, and thank you to all of you who have um, joined in, loving your comments. Keep them coming in as well. And of course, if you have any questions later on, then we can go back in and answer them separately. So thank you very much uh, for tuning in. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.